Hey viewers, Corey. Uh, I've decided to make a video today on my homemade MREs. Uh, what got me wanting to make this video is I've been watching a bunch on YouTube. I want to put something in my go bag or my get home bag that I don't have to worry about. I can just throw it in there. It'll be good for years. So I currently have three MREs. The only downfall is now they're starting to end, get toward the end of their life cycle. So I need something to replace them with. MRE is pretty expensive. Lifespan can be iffy, especially even at my vehicle, where vehicle temperatures will range greatly. You know, super hot in the summer, cold in the winter. So I decided to go and make my own. After doing a lot of research online, freeze dried for me was the way to go. So I chose these Mountain House MCWs, Mill Cold Weather Mills. Uh, it's pretty popular in. What are the military long range reconnaissance mills? I chose the new Millennium Energy Bar. It's vacuum sealed, expiration date 2023. I don't worry about that. I also chose these freeze dried fruits. All right, we got uh, apple, pineapple, and mango. Freeze dried, expiration date on these is 2021. Alright, so to package it all, what I did, uh, I bought a vacuum sealer from Avid Armor, and uh, I've just first time using it. So far, it's been working great. What is in this one is four of these MCWs, four of the bars, two spoons. One chocolate bar and three packs of salt. All right. I made a separate one with just two of the MCWs and one of the energy bars. And this is more for like a contingency meal. If the main meal here, the main package, should get, should get compromised, this should still be good. And spoons, of course, I'm not really worried if the package is compromised. The spoons are in their own package and it's plastic. I also packaged the chocolate bar. In an additional package so if it should melt and leak I don't want the contents of the chocolate bar getting on the rest of the mills. Excuse my dog whining here. I also separately packed the uh, fruits here and that's mainly because I can eat these on the go. It'll be quick I can just reach my hand in there and grab them. I don't have to worry about opening up a big meal or to, you know the bars I can also eat on the go but these uh these are pretty easy here. So, alright, so I'm going to start talking about some calorie content. Alright, in these MCWs, this one is the chicken and rice. And it has 650 calories. Alright, so that's a pretty good, you know, if I get stopped or set up camp or whatever it may be, 650 calories, that's a good meal to eat for dinner. A little bit heavy for breakfast for some people, excuse me, but uh, a dinner, especially right before you go to bed, you want to have a good meal in your stomach, you're going to sleep a lot better anyway. Alright, these uh, New Millennium Energy Bars, this is the first time I've had these. Uh, most anyone that's been in the outside has probably had a Mountain House meal over the years, so and they're all the same. These uh, New Millennium Energy Bars are 400 calories per bar, and uh, I did try one out. I tried the cherry. I was really happy with it. As soon as I opened it, I could automatically smell the cherry. They're non-thirst provoking. They're a little bit granular in texture. But uh, another thing that you could eat on the go, you don't have to be set up for camp or whatever the situation may be. Uh, of the freeze-dried fruit, the apple's 35 and the pineapple and the mango are each 40 calories. And I have tried the apple. It's just exactly what you'd expect from a freeze-dried apple. Uh, I just popped them in my mouth, let my saliva rehydrate it. You definitely got the apple flavor. Tasted great. And I haven't ate the mango or pineapple, but I'm sure them are just, you know, just the same. All right, total calorie count. Uh, the MCWs are not all the same. This one's 650. Uh, some of them I did see were 550, but just 
if we just make them all 550, I mean, there's uh, 3,300 calories just in NCWs. And that, and I mean, that's, that's pretty good calories. Each of these bars has 400 calories. I got five bars in there. So another additional 2,000 calories. And then a chocolate bar. Apologize, I'm not sure what the calorie content is on that. Uh, that the chocolate bar, why I wanted that in there was more of a uh, just a morale booster, really. I mean, freeze dried meals, anything freeze dried, these energy bars, if you're eating them, especially for two or three days straight, it's going to get kind of mundane. So I got the chocolate bar to add in there, and plus it's going to be a good little energy boost right out of the gate. Now I have uh, six of these. Uh, freeze dried fruits in here and uh, of course 35 to 40 calories a pop so I think I could stretch this out easily you know if I ate one of the MCWs a day there's six in there plus I got my five energy bars I could probably make it six days I mean that's stretching it I would like to have it about four but uh, again this is just this is just for me to throw in my bag in my vehicle uh, I'm gonna do another video on my, on my bag and uh, I'll let you see the contents of that. Now my bag is, I say it's my get home bag. It's, it's a heavy get home bag, but a light bag bag. I don't feel comfortable with leaving some things out. And since it stays in my vehicle and it stays in the back, I'm not worried about it. I don't have to constantly get in and out. And I do use it about every two weeks when I walk my dog, I'll throw my bag on. And uh, some of the questions I had come up when I was telling people about my meals was, was water like well all this takes water or you know like this is your saliva here where I live and where I go more often it is not very far from water source water source we have a lot of rivers a lot of lakes I do carry water purifier in my vehicle it's a pump style and I have uh, a metal canteen I can use if need be to uh, boil water and I have water purification tablets so there's quite a bit of redundancy in my bag, and I'm not worried about water. I also have a 3 liter hydration bladder, and I use it when I go walking, so I fill it up every couple months. I'm not too worried about water. I also have an empty canteen I keep in there. Again, there's a redundancy. I can go get some water from a lake, river, creek, whatever it may be. I can boil it in my canteen cup, and there's plenty of water in the canteen cup to rehydrate this meal. So I'm not worried about the water issue. Um, I'll take some still pictures of all this and put this on the video too. So you can see uh, calorie contents and stuff. And if you see it and you're asking, there's rubber bands here. This is, that has really no purpose other than to hold this flap down. So whenever I packaged it, I would pull the flap over. I would put a rubber band around it. Then I could stick it in the Avid Armor bags a lot easier. Because I was having a hard time with these wanting to pop out and I I wasn't getting a good seal on my bag. All right, so I just put the rubber band around each one so I can put them in. Now, after a lot of research, I've, uh, I'm still finding out stuff every day. But uh, if any of you guys have any better ideas, uh, definitely let me know in the comments section. I really appreciate it. Uh, try to keep all your comments clean. Um, again, this is for me to strictly throw in my bag and forget about it. So a lot of you guys have really good ideas about the, the heater meals and you know the, the rice that's already comes in a package ready to go. I've experienced some of this firsthand with the rice. Uh, I think it, I believe Uncle Ben's brand. It was in my vehicle for about half the winter, freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing. But when I went to warm it up, it did taste funny. I think some of the ingredients that separated inside of it. So that's why I'm trying to stick with more of a freeze dried than your over the counter at the grocery store stuff you buy that you just either can eat straight out of the package or just warm up and maybe some boiling water. So again that's why I try to stick with freeze dried food, excuse me. I don't want to have to worry about it. I mean I do check my bag. I don't just throw it in there, don't look at it for years, but again this is something where I can open up, I can reach inspect. And the only thing I'm really worried about is, is the seal still good on the bags? So if the steel seal is still good in the bags, that means there's no air getting in, which means, again, everything I keep in its original package as well. So I'm not worried about, too much about stuff getting compromised, but as long as the seal is still good on this, 
I have an armor bag. And I should be good to go. I should be able to open it up. I mean, these mountain house meals, I've seen people eat them that are like 25, 30, even longer than that. And they do just fine. As long as the package is not compromised, no air has gotten in, we're good to go. So I have a, I mean, it would have to get through my bag. I have an armor bag. And then the uh, actual mountain house bag, which is pretty thick. It is more like a mylar line bag. So, again, that's, that, that's my reasoning behind all this. Uh, I just thought I'd show you guys. You can tell me what you think. Agree, disagree. I got big shoulders. I can take it. Again, keep your comments clean. Uh, on weight-wise, I'm not too worried about the weight. Uh, my pack's still easily manageable. Uh, I have no problem when I walk the dog, we'll do, you know, four to six miles. I understand in, in some survival situations, there's going to be quite a few more miles than that. Uh, especially depending on where I'm at. You know, I got one sister that lives out of state. That's going to be a long walk home. Uh, my scales, I don't have the proper scales. I just have the scales that I weigh myself on. It was having a hard time. I tried holding them, and it was still having a hard time to pick up the exact weight. It did a lot of fluctuation. I don't want to give you an exact weight number, um, but if I just hold these three MREs in my one hand and the uh, the primary, the supplementary, and the the uh, fruits, they weigh about the same. I I believe this might the uh, the ones that I made might be just a little bit lighter, but again, that's also the MREs are they already have all their own liquid in it, so I think I have more food than these three MREs because. You know when I say the MRE, you don't eat, very few people eat all the contents. I mean, you have me some stuff you don't like. And at least in here, this is everything I know I will eat and I do like it. So, I think the weight is negligible. Uh, and again, the water, I know that's that's always an issue when you're talking about freeze-dried. That's something I'm not worried about here. Uh, maybe if I was out west, it would be a different story. But I'm in the Midwest. We get quite a bit of rain. We do get some droughts in the summer, but there's... A lake within walking distance or a river several rivers creeks something I can get water from so again I'm not too much worried about the water aspect is mainly just calorie content and ease of packing all right thanks for watching